Okay guys, on a day like this, not a lot of fish going. So I think it's a great opportunity to kind of show you my method for working in a water column like this. And uh, let me just get my rod and we'll go on down. And this is a place I've done before. If you haven't seen the video, I did a hot spot on it a while back. Um, so let's give it a go and I'll show you how I work this column. I'm using a heavy clouser and I'm also using a uh, 10 pound test fluoro leader. Got a lot of gizmos to carry down with me because of the uh, need for constant drinking of water. As you know. So uh, let's give it a go and I'll kind of give you a little lecture series on, on how to work the water column in a place like this. Back over that way, we've got water flowing in. That's typical of uh, creeks, and this is the lower, the Trinity River below Ray Roberts. Um, and I'm using a black on um, black clouser because uh, it's a dark day. And we're gonna just show you how to work the column, and uh, basically uh, see see if there's anything going on with this black clouser. But uh, doubtful. Doubtful there'll be any fish. It's all going to be about technique today. So the best thing to do in a muddy situation like this is get yourself to the edge of the water. Step in up off into the water because you want your line to stay clean as possible. That's really hard to do in this awful, awful muddy stuff. I can't, I can't believe how hard some people have to work. You know, just to just to use a fly rod in these local uh, canals to uh, go after sand bass and crappie and stuff like that. We're just not gonna mess with that at all. But, getting some line out. And so what we wanna do is we wanna take this, take this situation, starting to slack water over here, work our way over this way, on over here, into the end of that flowing water from the pivot point of where I'm standing right here. So this is my pivot point. And it's basically, if you've read conventional stuff before, you'll know this basically, fanning and so we're going to fan from here i'm going to move over there and fan from over there and see what happens i just put this fly on i'm not liking the way it's actually casting at the moment i do see some fish moving further down let's just see what happens here that's a pretty heavy fly and there are some snags over that way but let's just see what happens i uh, i imagine this will uh, take care of any small fish are out there such a big fly but uh, as you can see I started on my left you can start in the middle or either direction you just know that you've got to fan your cast out every time you don't want to keep casting the same spot there's no fish in it because these fish can be really tight really hold up tight and if they are why would you cast the same spot with no fish in it over and over again I think that action I saw was a turtle over there actually. There's a bunch of turtles in here. But the water is a lot more clear than it was the other day and a lot less flowing out of there so I'm thinking that the action is just not going to be the same. So there's a lot of variables to this. Of course the fanning to cover area, the speed of the retrieve, and the weight of the fly all make a difference because they get you to different spots and the water column. And your fanning action doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to cover it like a fan. That means that, you know, I skipped six feet right in there. What I'll do is I'll come back and I'll hit that in a minute. And I might go all the way out, but I'm gonna fan this thing before I change positions. Man, that water's a long ways away. <laughs> dying of thirst already all right and another thing you got to be careful of and I, that I made a mistake yesterday when I was out here is uh, you get a little adrenaline, adrenaline flowing and then suddenly your retrieve has changed everything gets thrown off and you can see that current you treat these currents just like you treat a Colorado trout stream current where there's these feeding lanes and you can also feed some line into the uh, into the current to get a little more uh, water coverage. If you uh, 
treat this like a trout stream, you might not be disappointed. I think uh, the feeding patterns are very much the same. They want to stay out of that, out of that heavy current. And let that food come to them. Another thing I noticed yesterday is a little, just go really slow when you get that fly up to shoreline. Because I think the fish, because of where the current is, I think they're hanging out right over the edge, right over here. And if you just lift nice and slow, sometimes you'll have a fish on. Just remember that a slow lift like that won't set the hook and you're gonna have to really pop it like that to uh, to finalize the hook set on that and I did that yesterday with a circle hook on um, hybrids which is kind of a feat <laughs> in itself I'm gonna let that sink this time I think I'm not getting deep enough still even though there's less current today So within that fan, you've got all these other variations you can do. And, and the speed of your retrieve, and the number of strips you do before you, before you stop, all those things can trigger a fish. And if they continue to trigger the fish, you got yourself a pattern. You got yourself a pattern. You got yourself a good day on the water. Well, I think that's a pretty good demonstration of what we're talking about with covering water in this particular situation. So I'm not going to waste a lot of your time just sitting here watching me cast. So let me reel this in. Ah, let me cast it and reel it in. That's the best way to go. Go quietly into the night. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of how I work current in Texas creeks and rivers like this where we have multiple flows coming in or even a singular flow with a bend right here that changes the current. Keep that in mind. Fan your cast out. Vary the depth. Vary the retrieve rate and see if that works for you. Thanks for watching. Be sure and check out Texas Flycaster website, www.texasflycaster.com.